My people, where are my people at tonight? Where are you at? Yes, very exciting, the Jews. Love the Jews. You know, think about this. Judaism is the only religion that doesn't try to recruit new members. That's right, probably because we know we can't get any. I mean, seriously, what's the selling point there exactly, right? What's the commercial for Judaism? Tired of that excess flap of skin on your penis? <laughs> Want to stop eating three of the most delicious foods on the planet? <laughs> bacon cheeseburgers and bacon double cheeseburgers? <laughs> or perhaps you're ready to give up eating altogether and would enjoy partaking in one of our numerous fast days. Well, then Judaism's just for you. Do you crave persecution? scapegoating, enslavement, and or genocide? Want to be hated for controlling the banks and the media, yet you're broke, you're not on a sitcom right now, so you gotta schlep to Montreal, do a festival, hope you get some Canadian fans and a coup. <laughs> anyway, that's just me. The point is, you understand what I'm talking about, right? Montreal! The point is, nobody, nobody wants to join us because nobody wants to be like us, right? We all want to be black. <laughs> we do, I do. I grew up in the Bronx, always wanted to be black. We emulate black people in our culture, we do. We wanna be black, dress black, talk black, we all text black, everybody in this room, I don't care how white you people are. We text black, I sent out a text this morning, I was like, yo, what up, where are you at? I've never said that sentence out loud in my life. But that's how I text, because we have this societal peer pressure to sound hip and cool when we text. And what people do we associate with being hip and cool? Certainly not my people. <laughs> Nobody texts Jewish, so how's everything by you? <laughs> OMG, you know, you, you gotta text black, right? You don't text American Indian. You type funny words, me laugh out loud. You know, you, <laughs> you text black. My 70-year-old Jewish father sent me a text last week. It was like, sup, son, sup. S-U-P-S-O-N, sup. This is a man, when you meet him, he's like, hello, how are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. And he's like, sup, son? Yeah, he talks like an old Jew, but texts like he's got a three teardrop tattoo. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the Jews. We've covered the Jews. I mean, there's a lot more. There's a lot more, but I want to talk about the gays also. Where are the gays? Where are the gays here tonight? Just you guys in the front, just the two of you? We have gays over there. How are you, gays? I love the gays, too. Love the Jews, love the gays. My brother's gay. Yeah, he's a gay Jew. That's like, that sounds like an exotic bird, doesn't it? It's like, <laughs> oh, look, a gay Jew. <laughs> um, not to, I don't love the gays just because I have a gay brother. Uh, I love the gays because the gays love me. They do. They love me, the gays. I know this because whenever I walk down the street, gay guys will always give me the second look. You know what the second look is? Second look is something a woman never gives me. <laughs> you know what it is, right? You walk down the street, a woman spots you, that's the first look, then she looks away, assesses your level of cuteness, and unless you're like a nine or above, you ain't getting that second look. Now, I'm a seven, okay? And that's with taking personality into account but I am a gay nine, okay? I know this because every time I walk down the street by a gay dude, he always spots me, looks away, and then it's like, oh, he is cute, mm. <laughs> But being a gay nine, you know, it's like Canadian currency. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's worth a lot to them, but what the hell am I gonna do with it exactly? <laughs> See, there's only two groups of humans on the planet who love me. It's, it's gay men and old Jewish women, yeah. It's true. Not a day goes by where I don't hear, oh my God, he is so handsome. Now that's just the gay men. Um, the old Jewish women, they're like, oh my God, he's so handsome. Yeah, old Jewish women sound like gay men with deeper voices, you know what I mean? Such a face on that boy, Ella. Oh my. That's the irony of my life, that the two groups of people that are the most sexually attracted to me, I am the least sexually attracted to. 
That's why my wife doesn't have to worry. She doesn't have to worry about anything. She doesn't have to worry. Nobody wants me except them. Yes, I'm married. That's right. It throws a lot of women here because they're like, oh, you're married? Where's your ring, asshole? <laughs> I don't wear a ring, okay? Here's my theory on rings. If I wear a ring, if I like advertise that I'm married, how am I ever going to find my soulmate? <laughs> yeah. I know she's out there somewhere. But I don't cheat. Women are always judging me like, oh, he must cheat. He doesn't wear a ring. Not wearing a ring doesn't make me an unfaithful husband any more than not wearing a yarmulke makes me an unfaithful Jew. I just don't feel the need to walk around announcing my membership in not one but two socially undesirable groups. <laughs> you see, I'd rather be envied in my life than pitied, okay? And no guy is gonna envy me in my wedding ring and little black velvet beanie, let's be honest. No guy's gonna be like, look at him, a married Jew. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> he gets to be chosen and taken. <laughs> yeah, but that's not what he's thinking, okay? You know what he's really thinking? He's thinking married and Jewish. Ooh. <laughs> Poor guy never gets any action or bacon. That's what he's really thinking, all right? That's right. That's what he's thinking. I do get some action, though. I get some action. Not, not as much as I want, because, men, we always want it more. We need it more. It's true, we want it more than women. Back me up here, fellas, seriously, I'm, I feel like I'm all alone out here, <laughs> right? We do, we want it more, we do. Like women, women have to be in the mood, okay? Men, we just have to be in the woman. <laughs> A woman will change our mood like that, like that. You, you have that power, we can't do, we can't change moods, I try. There's nothing on me that would change my wife's mood, nothing. The other night my wife was like, I'm not in the mood, I was like, yeah? I have just the thing to change that. <laughs> you know what she said to me? She said, get that thing out of my face. <laughs> now, no man in the history of mankind has ever been presented with a vagina and then said the words, get that thing <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> no man, yes. Also, because the vagina is not a thing, it's a place. <laughs> that's right. Remember that next time you're playing 20 questions, and that's your secret word. Is it a person? No. Is it a thing? Mm-mm. It's a place? Yep. Is it Virginia? Close. I'll give you a hint, it's the happiest place on Earth. Is it Disneyland? <laughs> no, but like Disneyland, it's gonna cost you to get in there. And uh, yeah, and then you wait forever to get on the ride and it's over in two seconds. It's not worth it, forget it. Thank you, Montreal, I love you.